Okay, so I'll give you a quick uh, kind of demonstration tutorial on uh, my MagnaPi program. I wrote this to help my niece who has uh, low vision read uh, sheet music and play sheet music. So, uh, running on a Windows uh, 7 laptop here, and uh, I've compiled the Python to an uh, executable, so you should be able to run that. I've got two folders here and the executable, so I'm just going to double click on that. And it launches. Uh, what you see here is I've got a uh, three uh, pedal foot pad that I bought off uh, Amazon for $30. Uh, it needs to be programmed to start with, and so I'll show you how to do that. But once it's programmed, it's good to go. And you can see I've kind of put the key bindings on here. I'm doing this kind of like a gas pedal, uh, gas and brake and space. Uh, and as you can see, the uh, as it comes, it'll just have one song in it. Uh, in the folder, so to select that you just press space. It will uh, load that song and it remembers the last uh, magnification you had on it and the uh, last uh, speed. So to play, let's press the space bar. It will play. So I've got a little uh, kind of thumbnail down here, kind of give you a visual cue where you're on the page. And as you can see, uh, as you come to the next line, it's gonna it's gonna uh, bring that second line over, and you just smoothly be able to scan that over. While you see it just dropping down on here. So if you need to navigate, need to go back a bar, you hit the, the pause, and uh, if you're past about halfway on the measure and you hit the up arrow, it will take you back to the beginning of the measure. Uh, then if you hit it again it will take you up a line. You can see up here in the corner I'm indicating which line you're on so you can navigate to whatever line you need to do and play. So still working on that. I could use some feedback from some actual musicians. I obviously don't play, I program so I'm just doing the best I can. Okay so uh, when the music is playing I uh, use the up and down arrows to change the uh, speed and of course it, as I mentioned, it remembers uh, what speed you had it set at and whether or not you were paused when you stopped or not. So we'll slow it down and pause it. Okay, so that's fine and dandy. Let's see, so the other thing I didn't show is you can zoom in and out using the plus or minus keys to get the uh, scale you need for the vision. Um, so hopefully depending on your vision level you can get it to uh, a spot where you can read it and then you can also do this while it's playing as well okay so having shown you that let's take a look at uh, what would happen if you wanted to add some music to this so the idea being that uh, the music will either be from like a, f a photograph of a uh, sheet of music and or a scan or something you get off the web. So here I've got uh, some music that uh, my niece's mom actually sent me that they're playing in band. It's a single sheet and uh, it's an image file, so we can do uh, JPG or a GIF or a PNG, any type of image files. And you're just going to want to drag and drop that into the pages folder that, that we have here. And then if we go back to our program here and we'll hit uh, the edit key, or I'm sorry, the escape key will take us back to. Uh, the selection menu and as you can see uh, we do have a Dell in here now and I'm using the keyboard now but you could be using the foot pad so we'll scope to a Dell and hit enter since this is the first time uh, the program's seen this file it gives you just kind of the editing window and the trick is you need to put in the scan lines here so I'm gonna uh, I'm not sure if you can see my mouse cursor but I'm gonna put it up there right in the center of the bar and click enter and you can see it adds a blue scan line hit the enter again that was not quite anyway so this will be how the software knows where the uh, the measures are and how to do it um, the other thing you can do is if you hit the letter T it will ask you if you want to give it a better title otherwise it's just got the uh, 
It's just got the file name. Okay. And I hit enter, so it's going back and it's it's already started. Uh, it's also starting at like a default uh, zoom and speeds. You would change those as you need. And as you saw, I only put in uh, the first three uh, measures here. So if you were like practicing a measure or a section of the song, you could just put in whatever bars you wanted to, and that would help you when you go to navigate uh, as far as getting around. And so to get back to that menu is uh, E for edit. And you can see we can click on uh, the scan line. We could take it out. We could add some others down here. So hopefully that's pretty easy and straightforward, uh, at least as much as I can make it. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you was it occurred to me that um, this might be useful for something other than uh, just music. So I've got here a book uh, from 1941, a page out of a book. I'm going to drag that over here. And we'll come back to our music. We'll go back to the... Um, hit escape to get back to the selection page. You can see I've got a new file here. It's just actually a page out of a book. Um, low price car history. So I'm just going to put the scan lines in where the pages are for where, where the lines of text are. And then um, and then you have some lines of text. So depending on your vision level you could zoom in and kind of scan and I don't know if that would be helpful for someone, but it's, it's kind of a side effect of what we've done. It could be that you zoom in and read something cool. I actually haven't read this page. It sounds kind of boring, but uh, there you go. That's that. Okay. So, and then last here, I, I kind of want to show you how this foot pedal. So this is, again, $30. It, it's a USB and it, uh, it needs to be programmed so it maps the keys and uh, as I showed you in, in the video the keys in the program are mapped to the uh, down arrow space and the up arrow so when you if you buy one of these keyboards uh, you have to install the software and it will come with a little utility that I'm going to launch here um, it's going to ask if we've got the single foot pad or the triple we got the triple and then it's going to uh, let you assign the functions you want. And as you can see, it's got my current assignments in here, down, space, and up. And so you can do that by just pressing any kind of letter. So if we wanted to K, let's switch to K. I'm going to keep it down. But anyway, so for each of the three pedals, and, and you can actually put in text. Um, you could prank somebody by putting in some text and, and plug it in the computer, and it would display the text on whatever they're typing in. Once you have it set, you have to actually uh, set it, and so it actually kind of writes, it flashes the memory on the keyboard, and now no matter what computer you take it to, it will, it will, and you plug it in, and it will install the drivers, and then it will behave like a keyboard that just provides these three keys. All right, well, I think I covered about most of it. Hope this can be of use to some people. Uh, I had fun programming it, and uh, we will talk to you later.